from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. A new name for a pet adoption center that doesn't exist yet. And a new way to keep tabs on your students' internet usage. We'll tell you about it in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Thursday, September 29th, 2022. It's brought to you today by the law firm of Barnes & Deal. And now for the news. Funding for a proposed $15 million no-kill pet adoption center in Henrico's far west end has yet to be approved by county voters. But the proposed facility now has a name. Maybe not the catchiest one of all time, but a very fitting one. The building will be known simply as the Henrico Pet Adoption Center. That announcement came yesterday from County and Henrico Humane Society officials. The Humane Society would partner with Henrico to operate the new facility, which likely would be built on Kane Road in Short Pump. Funding for the facility would come if Henrico voters approve the $83 million fire and public safety portion of the bond referendum on this November's ballot. Early voting has already begun. Three Chop District Supervisor Tommy Brannon brought the idea for the facility to County Manager John Vitokas more than a year ago after hearing from a number of constituents. It would be the first such no-kill facility in the county. Through August of this year, the Henrico Animal Protection Unit, which operates the county's existing animal shelter on Woodman Road, had euthanized 139 dogs and 55 cats, according to county data. Last year, through the same time frame, those totals were 60 and 92, respectively. If you wonder what your children are doing on their school-issued laptops, you now have the opportunity to find out. Parents have the ability to monitor that Internet activity through the new Securely web filtering system. It was already in place in Henrico schools, but new features now allow parents to monitor what their children have searched on school devices, even when the child is using that device outside of school. It's all part of the Securely Home app. It allows parents to watch their children's website history even in real time. Parents who sign up also will get weekly email reports about their child's Internet activity. Parents and guardians received an email on September 13th with information about how to sign up for the system. Additional information is available on the school system's online services page. We have a link to that on our website. Just visit HenricoCitizen.com and look for this article. The remnants of Hurricane Ian may pass through our area this weekend, and that has caused officials from Reynolds Community College to postpone 50 Fest. It was to be the school's scheduled 50th anniversary celebration this Saturday. The event now will take place sometime in the spring of 2023, according to officials. The exact date will be announced soon. And Henrico County has received about a million dollars in funding from the Virginia Community Flood Preparedness Fund for two flood prevention efforts. The money was part of $13.6 million that was allocated statewide through the program by the Virginia Department of Conservation and Recreation. And RICO will get about $870,000 for improvements to the Gambles Mill pump station in the near West End and almost $95,000 for resource assessments, planning, strategies, and development. Improvements to the Gambles Mill pump station were among 26 sewer projects that Henrico agreed to complete within the next several years as part of a consent order it signed with the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality following a number of repeated system failures that led to millions of gallons of sewage overflowing from the county system between 2016 and 2021. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Barnes & Deal. Barnes & Deal has emerged as a highly respected family law firm over the past three decades with the resources, skills, and experience necessary to handle high-asset divorces and other complex family law matters across Virginia. To learn more, visit BarnesFamilyLaw.com, that's B-A-R-N-E-S, or call 796-1000.